fights the man they call meat, fellow Ultimate Fighter veteran, Matt Mitrione. When it came to the 10th season of The Ultimate Fighter, the two heavyweights everyone was talking about were Matt Mitrione and Kimbo Slice. Tonight, these two hard-hitting bangers meet in the octagon to showcase everything they've learned since their time inside the house. I want to knock them out, man. I want to fight. I want to bang. I want to stand in the middle of the octagon and, and slug it out. I'm really excited to get in there to uh, trade leather with them, and uh, I look forward to turning his chin. An NFL veteran who showed that he could deliver big hits even without his helmet and pads on, Matt Mitrione made an immediate impact in the UFC with his knockout of Marcus Jones last December. But nothing will equal the shockwaves if he can KO Kimbo. I don't think it'll take that much to break his will. You know, once I start tapping you up and you taste your own blood and your lip swells up and your eye closes shut, and if you're still awake by that time, let's talk about it. After his stint on The Ultimate Fighter set viewing records, people wondered what Kimbo Slice would do for an encore. He answered that question in December as he outpointed veteran Houston Alexander. Tonight, you can expect fireworks as Kimbo Slice returns. I don't want to do a lot of talking. I don't have much to say. I'm bringing my haymakers with me. And when I get in that cage, this is all the talking I'm going to be doing. This right here, this is what's up. This is what makes me me. This is who I am. Born in Bloomington, Illinois, living in Indianapolis, Indiana, now fighting out of Milwaukee, Matt Mitrione, very controversial indeed during the Ultimate Fighter season 10, the heavyweights. He had a lot to say. A lot of people had a lot to say back to him. The one thing he is, extremely talented athlete. Played in the National Football League. I talked to Duke Rufus about Matt Mitrione. He said, Goldie, this guy gets it. He picks it up quickly, and he hits hard. Yeah, and being a talented athlete is so important. He's got another thing going for him, and that is that he's got a special kind of crazy. There's something about that dude. Like, when you saw him in his last fight against Marcus Jones, Marcus Jones hates him. Marcus Jones got in his face in the house screaming and yelling at him, and it didn't even look like his heartbeat raised. There's just something about this dude. Takes a tremendous shot, and he's got big, big power in his hands. And he's got some big guys to train with in Milwaukee. You saw Pat Berry a moment ago, Ben Rothwell as well. Pat Berry and Matt Mitrione have gone back and forth in sparring. It has made him a better fighter. Matt Mitrione thinks he's got a big, long, successful MMA career ahead of him. Look how calm he is yeah. right there. That's not a normal dude. There's something going on in that guy's head. Long arms, much bigger than Kimbo. Much bigger. And as we saw in the Marcus Jones fight, heavy, heavy hands. We also saw that in the Scott Junk fight. Scott Junk is a very talented striker, but when he tasted some of the shots by Mitrione, it, it shook him up. And both of those guys were Kimbo's guys during the Ultimate Fighter. Mitrione Look at has him. also trained with Chris Lights Out Lytle, Irish Jake O'Brien, he and he's having a blast here tonight. He almost KO'd a photographer with his yeah. shoulder. Here comes Kimbo! His weakness leaving the body. How popular is this guy? I was on a flight from L.A. to Canada, and there were some dudes behind us. They said, we're only coming here to see Kimbo Slice fight. They were flying all the way from Los Angeles to watch Kimbo Slice. Kimbo Slice. Cuts a 215 for the Houston Alexander fight, which was his official UFC debut. Tonight is UFC pay-per-view debut. But remember, you and I talked during the Houston Alexander fight about Kimbo having to cut and how it might have affected him a little bit. Not tonight. And he's had weeks and weeks and weeks of top-notch training with Ricardo Laborio at American Top Team. Best camp in the world, in my opinion. And what we saw in that fight was his ability to become a mixed martial artist. His ability to take him down, control him on the ground. His stand-up and striking looked excellent. Everything looked great. He was aggressive. He pushed the pace. Really dominated 
Nate Houston Alexander and sent him out of the UFC. Kimbo Slice. Hands up, head movement, who wants to get inside? And the thing most impressive about Kimbo is the attitude he has brought to MMA. He knows he needs to get more well-rounded. He knows he needs to improve. And he can't wait to get in the octagon. I can't wait to see it. That is one bad dude. He's just a lot of fun. I mean, there's something cool about watching a guy fight on YouTube in the backyard, trying to avoid a satellite dish and a barbecue, and then next thing you know, he's in the octagon. I mean, the dude had, like, rudimentary boxing skills. Now here he is in the biggest mixed martial arts organization in the world, gone through the Ultimate Fighter, did all the right things, accepted Dana White's challenge, and here he is. I love that. I love everything he's doing. Kevin Ferguson, Kimbo Slice against Matt Mitrione. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Nassau, Bahamas, Kimbo Slice, five years the elder of Matt Mitrione. Mitrione much bigger, 253 to 225. He will also have a five-inch reach advantage. With the official introductions, here's the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a striker, holding a professional record of one win with no losses. Standing six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 253 pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, by way of Indianapolis, Indiana, USA, Matt Mitrione. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a brawler, holding a professional record of four wins with one loss. Standing six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Kimbo Slice. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Bergliata. Kimbo might be the only guy who fights with an assumed name. You ready? Let's go fight, guys. Kimbo and Mitrione. Mitrione right away smiling at him. Southpaw stance for Mitrione. High kick by Mitrione. That's Mitrione's unusual. coming forward quickly. You know you're famous when you're known by, you know, that moniker, one name. He's just Kimbo, like you said. Again. He wants that head kick again. Oh, no goodness. Wow, what a powerful takedown. Again, again. Look at this. Mitrione is locking up a triangle. He's got it. All he has to do is grab that angle. He's secured it. Mitrione it's trying too, to finish this fight. Too far the foot, though. Kimbo too trying far to toss him around. He's got It's on the foot now, it doesn't put as much pressure. He's trying to adjust. What he's got to do is adjust his, his left leg over more. Turn to the side. Kimbo trying to break free. He lost it. He's trying to get it again, though. He's trying to get it again. He's almost got it again. He's got to pull down on that leg. Oh, and Kimbo's out inside control. They're talking to each other now. Man, that was a power slam by Kimbo. That was ridiculous. Right in front of us, Joe. I think our whole broadcast table shook. Now let's see what kind of a ground game Mitrione has off of his back. He's a big guy. And a lot of big guys don't spend too much time on their back in the gym. They work on their ground game, but because he's so big and strong, he can dominate guys and get them on their back. So let's see what he does when he's forced into a bad position. Works in a half guard, very good. Mitrione has been working his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu with Eric Red Schaefer, part of Duke Rufus's camp, of course, in Milwaukee. Good control of Kimbo Slice, controlling the posture, Joe. 
not allowing Kimbo to get any space here. Now, Kimbo, of course, has been working his ground game at American Top Team. Kimbo trying to land some shots. Mitrione, he's got an underhook on the right side. He will use that to stand up, Mike. That is the key. The underhook from the ground is the key to standing up. Mitrione's got it. He's back to his feet. He Mitrione. believes that you can break Kimbo Slice. He believes that when you put pressure on him, you make him work, you tire him out, that he'll quit. The left underhook is going to allow Mitrione to stand up. He scoots his legs out as soon as he can get his right leg under him. He lost that underhook on the left side. But it's there if he wants it. Duke Rufus, Pat Berry, Irish Jake O'Brien in the corner of Mitrione. Looking for the triangle again. Pulling Slaps it on again. Head, He's got to grab that ankle though, Mike. He's got to grab the ankle and he has to have the back of the knee over the ankle. Not over the foot. The foot bends and gives and doesn't put enough pressure down on the neck. And Kimbo Bear lets him up. up. That might mean he's tired. Big smile on the face of Mitrione. Mitrione's going to be looking for a high kick, Mike. I can smell it. Right hand from Slice. And there it is. Mitrione likes that left high kick. Kimbo working the body. Kimbo. Knee. Oh, knee. Mitrion had time to set that oh, up, too. Oh, big leg kick. And again, he's going to look for the big knee. Yeah. Big knee by Mitrion. Another kick. Kimbo just took a big oh, kick. Oh, big kick. Oh, big shot. Mitrion hurt him with that hand, Mike. Now he's, he's going to try to choke roll. him. He's got to roll towards his bicep. I'm not sure if he knows how to do it. There he goes. He's got it. That's the game. Can he finish it? Mitrione. 22 seconds, Joe. He's got to get that hand a little deeper on his arm. And he's trying. See how he's creeping? He's creeping with those fingers. He wants to get it a little deeper. He wants to wrap that sucker up tight. 10 seconds. Kimbo's in big trouble here. With 10 seconds, he's going to be okay. Mitrione on top. Mitrione's trying to do some damage before this round ends out. Big, big first round. And this crowd is going bananas. And Mitrione's still smiling. Yeah, that's a crazy breathe. white boy right there. Calm down and breathe. Listen to what we're saying right now. You got to keep your hands up. You got to start with the body shot in right hand. You got it all the time with that. All right? Ricardo Laborio. Watch the eye gouge on the ground again, right? You got away with it once next time in squat. Right? Rem remember this. You just fought your up, buddy. You're winning. You're doing good. All right? Just look. Let's take a look at some of the action from this first round. There's the leg kick that just kicked out the leg of Kimbo Slice, and he catches him with a big punch afterwards. Mitrione came very close with two submissions, a triangle and a gator roll. Here's the anaconda choke. He rolls him. What he, the, what he was missing here was it wasn't quite deep enough in the arm. He's got, he tried to adjust, but he couldn't quite get it. Back up, back up, back up. You ready? You ready? Let's go fight. All right, here we go. Round two, baby. Watch for the head kick again, Joe. Yeah, he loves that left high kick. Good, straight left. Both of those connected. Mitrion, very back. confident. Played six seasons in the NFL. Was a free agent. Played with the New York Giants and the Minnesota Vikings. Collegiately, was an all-Big Ten star defensive tackle at Purdue. He stops that takedown. He's got Kimbo locked up here. He may go for a guillotine. Mitrion has been very... Very versatile in this fight. His skills ever improving. He caught him on the left. And again. Nice leg kick. Those leg kicks are heavy. Oh, and again. again. Oh, he's brutalizing his leg. And Kimbo, Kimbo tried to throw a kick. And you notice how his left leg didn't pivot at all, Mike? 
It Kimba. could be because it's very badly damaged. Yeah. He took several hard. He's limping on it. And again. again. Oh, that might be it. He's chopping him down. Mitrione looking to finish oh, Kimbo here. Man, these are brutal leg kicks. Gonna try to choke him out Gator again. Gator roll Joe. again. I can't see how he's got the grip. If he's got the grip in tight, he let it go totally. He's Lake gonna kick. go back to yeah, no <laughs> doubt about that. No doubt. Kimbo's lost all his ability to push off that leg. You can see the way he threw those punches. Yeah. Oh man. Watch for the head kick. Boom. Yeah. Gonna fake the leg kick and go for the head kick in the finish. Matt Mitrion looks fantastic in this fight, Mike. So confident. Oh! He's taking him apart, Joe. Uppercut. And he's smiling the whole time he's doing it. Kimbo's got a leg here. Kimbo's he, a tough warrior, man. Uh, he doesn't have the strength in his legs to do that. He just collapsed. Big knee. And this is what Mitrione thought. He thought that if he put the pressure on Kimbo, that Kimbo would wilt. And that's what we're seeing. Adolis Shorts. Brutal Kimbo leg kick. I mean, look at him here. Cranking on it. He's got that. It looks like he's got that same choke again. He's got the anaconda choke. Trying to get Kimbo to tap. Gonna give it up. Knee to the midsection. He's brutalizing Kimbo here. Brutalizing and him. And again. Oh, to the leg. Vicious shot to the leg. Kimbo Slice is not even moving here, Mike. Man. He's gotta explode. He's gotta buck. He's gotta hip escape. He's almost given up here. Mitrione in the mount. Kimbo has got, he can't just stand up with a 250 pound guy on him. He's got to push down on the hips. He's got to try to exit out the back door, something. But this is not the way to do it. He's got a hip escape. He's got to turn to his side and push on those knees. Push on that hip. And Mitrione is trying to finish here. Big Dan's going to stop this fight. Kimbo's got to intelligently defend himself or this will be over. Mitrione looking for the win. Trying to close it out here. Teeing off. Kimbo has got to try to get out of this position. Mitrione I don't know what he's doing. Clock. He's got to do something. Mitrione's looking for an arm triangle. Now he's going to switch to an Americana. Just applying all kinds of force now. He's going to turn into an Americana. Trying to he's finish gonna, with the submission. He's got to pull it towards the body. Kimbo thought about it there, Joe. What he's got to do is he's got to suck that elbow towards the body. Kimbo won't tap. Look at this. Well, that, you, you can get away with it there. What he's got to do is pull that elbow towards Kimbo's rib cage. 40 seconds oh, remains. Mitrione's arms are exhausted here. Man, show. It That's is it. all That's it. over! Matt Mitrione has defeated Kimbo Slice. That was just a domination by Matt Mitrione. Without a doubt, looked so much better than what we saw him in the Ultimate Fighter. He's making really big improvements. His stand-up looked much more professional. Brutal leg kicks. Really a, a very, very impressive performance by Matt Mitrione. These brutal, brutal leg kicks that Mitrion landed over and over again. That right there is the tutelage of Duke Rufus. I mean, he's throwing them fast and hard. Went for the head kick over and over again. And one of the keys to this fight, Mike, is not just the skill and the size, but how relaxed Mitrion was there. It looked like the whole time he was having a great time in there. Seen Matt around the hotel the last few days, and I got news for you, Joe. He's been relaxed the whole time. Confident in his ever improving skills. Duke Rufus, Pat Berry, congratulating the victor. Matt Mitrione. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Let's get it to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 24 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Matt. Mitrion! Veteran of the National Football League, Victor here tonight. All right, I'm here with a very happy and excited Matt Mitrion. Matt, I gotta tell you,
you. Very impressed with your stand-up in this fight. You look so smooth there, so much more improved than when we saw you in the house. Um, that's all because of Coach Duke, Pat Berry, you know, Rizak Alassane, all those boys. They just had a good